What's going on? You ever say yo, you ever say yo, you ever say yo. Happy holidays, you know. What this and what not, right? It's the holiday season, you know. So my Cyber Monday, I bought myself one gift because apparently, right? Apparently, they redid all the packets, all the packs that came out, right? So the season of celebration, uh, of course not. Daily, I'm not doing that. Um, the memory shard pack is back out. So if you're looking for your five star to finish your um Suzaku, your Lilith, or well, just say right there, just Suzaku and Lilith, because they're the only uh five star heroes that you could use this for. So if you're looking to finish those and you want to have at it, have at it. You know, get some memory shard, knock them all out, right? That's on you, boo. That's on you, boo. Um, I guess the tree people too, huh? The tree people, you can do the tree people. Uh, the twin, Arwen and Arwen. You can do them too. Arwen and Arwen. And, uh, Suzaku and Lilia. All right, those are five stars. Uh, the special pack is back. I purchased it ahead of time because we could do some summoning. We're going to see what kind of like, garbage we could get on runes. And we can see what we're going to get on a, what LD Nat 5 we're going to get today, right? So let's see what LD Nat 5. LD Nafi, LD Nafi, we're going to get today. So without further ado, let's see what this junk is do. There we go. All right, so you get Reforce Dust. Definitely going to need that. Confirm. All right, let's go. So would I get the new, guess what, y'all? So today I did something, right? I listened to Noob. He said, Go ahead, do a cheeky temple on the banner because the only one I'm missing is Bunny, right? I did a cheeky temple. Five star came up. I'm like, this is the Bunny banner. I finally, finally, finally get Bunny. Nope, it was dry ass. I'm looking for fire and got earth on a fire banner. <laughs> only me. So apparently, I'm never going to get Bunny. I just got to deal with it, right? So let me see what items we're going to select. So in this right here, um, if you go for the two legendary scroll, you're a fool. Don't do it. The spirit stone is pretty good, but they're scam stones. And yes, the rotation going to have um, Ostrich and um, Karen in the rotation come next week, right? So you, you're looking at it, you're like, man, summoning stone looking pretty juicy. But you can do like I do. I went and just autoed um, TOA, normal, finished that, summoned, didn't get nothing. And then I uh, auto all the way up to the max, what, 20 for the day for TOA hard, right? It is what it is. So if you're going to do this, five million silver, you can farm that. Don't even bother doing that. So out of all of this, the only two things of value is skill fairy and runes. And you always choose rune. Always choose rune. I don't care what anybody say, you always choose rune, okay? What rune do you pick is up to you. Um, I'm debating about trying out the two edge. Here's the problem with the two edge, and I think I said this in the video. It's an attack type. So therefore, you could spend all this rune and get yourself a a tap rune that's HP defense, and the rune ain't valuable. It they only increase your attack, so it's really a waste. That's something that you want to farm. You could do Vanguard, and it's the same thing. It's a tap based rune. Why would you do that? I'm trying a new camera setting, so let me know how that turns out. Why would you do that, right? It makes no sense neither because it's attack. So I did it before and got HP. Complete waste of time. Destruction, destroying HP, I'm not going to lie. It's pretty, pretty good when you're dealing with Arena for all those tanky uh, defense out there with their like shimmy and they like to heal a whole bunch. This right here eliminates that. This eliminates that. This is a good rune set to have, and it's only on two set. So everybody could, you know, get a set, go with your regular team, and you're good to go. Pincher. 
Attack when in range, right? But read what it says in that little bubble. On pinch your attack, 15% 15% damage by ally. That's that's if you ain't hitting hard to begin with, you just tickling the guy. Every little bit counts, but you've seen it. Your guy is only hitting regular without pincher for about a thousand. Let's say a thousand. Let's say a thousand, right? Fifteen percent of that, hundred and fifty. Eh, eh, is that going to really do much? That's the question. Is that going to really do much? I don't see so. I, I just don't think that, right? Um, This is not bad when you're dealing with those, uh, if you want the defense. This is not bad. So you put this set on your tanky team. So when the enemy, this is for defense people now, those toxic team, this is a perfect, patient room is a perfect one. Because they're going to go after Lakshmi in order to try to kill her quick. But every time they hit her, she takes a turn, keeps healing. And it just becomes a never-ending story. So if you're one of them toxic people with a defensive team that's doing the Irene, Lakshmi, um, Igwe, uh, and X, whatever that may be, this is your room set. Because on defense, they can't kill you because your team keeps going in turn, especially if you're doing two sets on an earthquake for Igwe. So therefore, not only is he going, he's stunning them up, and he's getting healed by Lakshmi and Irene at the same time. While they don't get a chance, it is like the most destructive, toxic set. If you get this right here, along with the regen, and that's all you really need. This right here, two sets of regen, two sets of patience, and two sets of life. Put that on the Shimmy and I read, and you are not dying no time soon because your HP is high to begin with. Your regen is giving you 15% of lost HP, and every time they hit you for half of that lost HP, you're getting to go first. So for every 5% loss, you get 7% of your HP back. It's really a toxic team. So your X team would definitely want to be um, Lilith. Because she increased attack uh, attack gauge for the whole team. So patient is not a bad room. All right. So it is what it is. I, today, I'm thinking I really like explosion because I, I'm, I'm, I'm a damage dealing kind of guy, right? I really want earthquake because my nocturne desperately needs a really good earthquake set. Vampire is good on everybody. You just can't beat Vampire. And, but I could farm Swift. I have enough. You see, I got 102. I could farm Swift all day. So I'm not going to really go with that. I'm going to go with something that I'm, I'm right now. I just have me shift over to farming um, explosion sets. So what I want really is Earthquake. That's the one that's hard for me to get right now. So that's what we're going to do. Let's go Earthquake. And I, there's a lot of units I could use with Earthquake. I should have did Vampire. Damn, don't let you get the chance to change your mind. I should have did Vampire. If you had to look at this video, do Vampire. All right, six star, garbage. But you obtain it, because we're going to talk about that. Look at this, garbage. Uh, garbage. If it's blue, it's already garbage. I'm sorry, if it's blue, it's already garbage. So as you can see, I got nothing. And the problem with this one right here is I, the speed is innate. If the speed wasn't innate, you could rehab this and go for innate speed, but you don't have it. So the worst, the best you could look for is only attack and crit rate if you put this on a bruiser rune, okay? This is not bad for Nocturne because he does require accuracy. So if we can do everything but resistance, we're good. Everything but resistance, we're good. Uh, this is still horrible, but we could do crit rate and crit damage. It's a slot one. We don't really care that much. I, this is a slot six. This is perfect. This could be re -app. We could put this to 12 and re -app this until we get some speed and some crit and some accuracy into this one. This is phenomenal. This is a slot six. I know you can't see it, but it's a slot six. Uh, accuracy, we're going to uh, basically feed that. 
three. Once again, the speed innate is killing us. Uh, attack, still bad. Wow, they really got me today. They done took my money and went to Santa Claus and paid for a sleigh. All right. Uh, the speed is so low. Why am I getting only three speed on these things? If anything, if it don't roll that well, we could do a reap. Uh, HP units out there that we could use it on. Once again, Igwe could use it and uh, Hildegard could use it, you know. Once again, they hate me. And let's, we don't even bother with that. So there you have it. It was completely a waste of money. But we're only here for the Nat 5 LD, right? We're only here for the Nat 5 LD. All right, so without further ado, let's go into... Let me see something real quick. We ain't getting nothing. All right, cool. So real quick, I need you to see this before we go further. In order to get good runes in this game, you're not going to farm them. Just, just, just stop it right now. You can farm all day long, and it will take you about two weeks for you to farm a good rune. But you do get a lot of, of these um, ancient dust, right? The reason being is they want you to convert your rooms. That's it. They just want you to convert your room. There's no way. There's two no two ways about it. They just want you to convert your rooms. So all the blues that you keep getting, save all the six stars. You're gonna need to convert them. Okay, that's what that's what the game want. Don't forget when converting, it can actually become a um, a superior room. This one wasn't uh, speed crit rate HP. Not bad. So let's go back to some more blues. And this is how you get good runes. This is the only way to get good runes. I have, trust me, I have farm, farm, farm. You're not getting them in drops. They're few and far between to get in drops. Look at this. These runes are decent. You can really roll this because you get three chances and you can actually get something value out of this. You can get value out of these things. There's the blue. Where was the garbage one that we were looking for? Where's them sixes that wasn't uh, worth nothing? Oh, look at that speed one. I can't wait to roll that one. No. No. I, I don't care for accuracy. Accuracy is valuable. I just don't care for it right now. I can get into substats. You save the blue for the superior, but the superior also is a waste of time. It takes too much resource to actually do the superior. And you can do you could better use those resources to do reaps versus doing the superior ones. So here we go, last one. Let's make it a there we go, a gold, and we could reap this. We're chasing speed on this one. If we could get all crit damage, we could change out everything that we need to change out. But in case we don't, we could definitely, um, yeah, we could definitely do something with that one. So that's how you get good runes. That's the only way to get good runes. So without further ado, let's do our cheeky temple for Bunny one more time to see can we get Bunny and then get our LD Nat 5. Yay, Phantom. One thing I'm not getting either is Lancelot. Like I got I got to where I needed one Lancelot to max out the left side of his um hidden leaf village skill and damn it Naruto, I can't get it. I'm good with Natasha though. Are you serious? I'm not getting bunny, y'all. I, I tried, and they refused to give me bunny. Uh, Guinevere, she's actually good with hidden skill. She's actually good with hidden... Uh, we know you were coming. Don't, don't worry about it. We knew you were coming. And that was it. I cannot do any more pulls because this has to go into farming. Ooh. 20... Hold on. Oh, they, they baited me. Because they baited me, I guess I got to do two more. 
No. Guess I gotta do two more. Oh, the bait is real. The bait is real. Oh, they baited me. You better be bunny. You gotta get out of the way, Irene. Hecaton. Oh. So what in that five would I really want? Um V par or Gimbu. I know I would say I want to, uh, I know Ostrich looks very cool, but the reality of the situation is he's not. <laughs> he's not. He's a single damage dealer, which when you look at single damage dealer, they're only good for PVE, the arena. And I'm like, ah, I don't know. Look, I can't get a Lancelot for nothing. That's all I really care for is a Lancelot right now. <sighs> oh, it's a five star. Would I get Bunny? Would I get Bunny? Bunny has avoided me. <sighs> I have, think about it. Think about it. Think about it. I have gotten every single elemental five star in the game, even the new ones, the new ones, and the old, decrepit Bunny. I can't get. <sighs> On a fire banner, I got Dryas. On a fire banner, I got Prey. And this is why you don't waste your crystals, ladies and gentlemen. This is why you don't waste your crystals. Let's be. Let's. Let's. It don't really matter right now. Just, 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 just stop. Let's just stop. Got plenty of him. For some reason, he might be the next hidden banner because I stay getting him. And no, no less. Save your crystals. Save your crystals. Save your crystals. On a, on a fire, on a fire banner, twice I got Earth. Twice. You pause and make some room. All right, all minor hearts are clear. Let's go ahead and just get these LDs out of the way. Are you serious, man? It just hurt your soul, right? It just hurt your soul. Yeah, we know she's coming out. We know she's coming out. Apophis, if you're new to the game, this is a great unit to have. Oh, goodness. A five star before the five star. So is this summon save? Are we going to get both Vipar and Ostrich? No, we're going to get another LD Nav 5 that we already have. Nothing new. All right, let's see what the Divine do. So we at least got an LD Nav 5, right? Let's see what this one is. So let me tell you all the LD Nav 5s I got, right? Gabrielle, Nocturne, Tatiana. Um, I don't know. I got a, a bunch of them. Oh, um, the Shacious. So all we need now is a new LD Nav Five. We would love to have a V Par. Uriel, he's new. I guess he could be used to make spaghetti in the kitchen. I really needed somebody, you know what I'm saying? 
somebody to make spaghetti in the kitchen. That's what I was thinking to myself. Like, do you have a spaghetti maker? If you don't, you should really get a URL to get some spaghetti for you. But here's a good thing about him. I will use him because successful hit has a 30%, 30% I hope that goes up. 30% chance to reduce action gauge. I love my action gauge reduction. Using the chapter of shackles to attack enemies within a target area, ignore 30% of defense of the enemy hit. Successful hit reduced the mobility. Okay, okay. He is actually now growing on me. He's growing on me. Using the chapter of punishment to attack enemies within a target area, successful hit increased all cooldown of enemy hit by two turns. Okay, so if he's your fastest unit, so the way to make, so the way you utilize him is you need to have him be one step below Esperanza. So if you have a, a high speed Esperanza, he needs to be one speed below that. So if she's 280, he needs to be 279. Right after him at 278, need to be Lakshmi. He has the ability to go up because of uh, Espa. He get rebuffed by Lakshmi, and then he hits the enemy with the, the attack cooldown rate by two. So if they're looking to do anything with Lakshmi or Irene, they're under two two cooldown turn, which means that you should be able to wipe them out. That means he attacked next, and he's able to do the uh, ignore defense. I'm liking this. As Arbiter has unwavering determination, URL becomes immune to stun, and all allies, including URL, gain provoke immunity. This is, okay, so he's no longer making spaghetti. He's a maitre d'. He is at the front of the restaurant, best representative ever. Because those teams, those toxic teams that's on defense, rely on provoke a lot, especially Igwe. This is now boss. I am now happy. This was a good summoning session. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for me. This was a good summoning session. This was a good summoning session. I'm now happy. Bunny, I would never see you. I would never see you, you know, because you're just going to elude me forever. This is actually only for Lancelot. I'm trying to see if I get a Lancelot. One Lancelot. I need him for the, you know, the five-star thingamajiggy that they're talking about. And that's it. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and guys. Have you ever been so happy to see a three-star? Have you ever been so happy to see a three-star? Oh, I ain't never been so happy to see a three star. Oh, this is awesome. She's getting traded. Because we're going to craft. We're going to special. We're going to get some coins as soon as we get some more of these uh, tomb of the altar realm, which they need to increase the drop rate. We're going to get that. We're going to get some coins. And we're going to shop our ass off for better um, plus up of runes. So this has actually been a great summoning session. So I don't know about you guys, but I'm, I know you're happy for me because if you're not, then why are you at the channel? Please hit the like button because for some reason, a lot of y'all think it's broke. I don't know why. Well, so I just got to do Alter Realm one more time and he's maxed out. Cool beans. Thank you. Have a good one.